Hi everyone, this is Marcy with My Pretty Posh Princess, and today in the final video of our five part silicone and teething bead how to tutorial series, I am gonna show you how to make a teething necklace using a smaller focal bead and not having a big teether pendant. So what we're gonna use today is one of our smaller kits. You can find this kit on our website if you search E as in Echo, number nine, E9. That's under silicone beads, kits, and then smaller kits. It is only $6.99 and it includes all of the beads seen here minus the wood beads, but it does include this great focal as well as a nylon cord and safety breakaway clasp kit. I am also deciding to use some wood beads in here because I really like it and as I have said before, wood beads are really great texture wise if baby is trying to get a tooth through and the silicone beads feels really good on a sore gum. So sometimes it's fun to do a combination of both. And so I am having, I'm featuring in here these wood beads that are a part of our large wood bead kit. D is in Delta number five. You can find that on our website. It includes the, the round beads as well as 10 rings and some cord. So to get started, the first thing that we need to do is cut our nylon cord to length. And like I always say, it's personal preference. There is no right or wrong. So I have pre-cut this. And now we are going to melt the edges. We also always do that to start. So if you watch the other four videos, you're a pro at this now. So you're just gonna use a lighter very, very carefully, melt those edges, just so that we have a nice and smooth, no fray to work with. So we're gonna string all of the beads on. Nothing is gonna dangle on this necklace. This, is, this necklace is gonna feature a smaller focal like so. So I'm gonna string all of these on. I'm gonna speed it up so that you can see the finished product, product and then we will close the necklace together. So let's string them on. Okay, so I strung everything onto my necklace and I am going to decide last minute that I wanna put another bead on each side. I'm gonna put a 12 millimeter bead on each side and I'm doing that because it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to put a knot there. So now that I've added that 12 millimeter bead to each side, I'm gonna try to even it up here. Although it doesn't truly matter because we um, can always fix that after the fact. But it's best to even it up before you tie any knots so that you kind of keep it, keep it even. A little bit more. Oh, what am I doing here? Okay, so we're gonna go with this. And if you want, you can put a knot on the tops. I usually do, but you don't have to. It's totally your preference. I think knots add a fun design element. I've mentioned in some of my other videos, but if you haven't watched, you might wonder how to clean these. So teething bead necklaces and other accessories are actually super easy to clean. You can put them in the dishwasher. You can also throw them into a sink of hot soapy water. Maybe that's how you wash your baby's bottles and just let them soak, rinse and air dry, and they're good to go. Okay, so we've got a knot there so they can't slip. And then I'm gonna put a knot on this side for the seam. And I haven't put my ends on yet, and I always do those last because then if I get a little off-centered on my string, I can correct that that way. Okay, let me pull it through for the second knot and tie so now it doesn't go anywhere. Now, when I do a focal beads, I don't like to center them, so I don't really want it right down here because if it's not dangling, personally, I feel like it just doesn't look 
as aesthetically pleasing. So I like to just put it a little off center to the side. Really, really neat, lots of texture. Baby will love this. So now we have it securely on there. We're going to put our clasps on. I've done this in a couple of videos, but I'm gonna show you here. We pull it through, clasp end sticking out, and we tie our knots. It's all about knots. So we tie the first knot and the second knot. You may only need to tie one knot depending on the thickness of your nylon cord. Pull it tight, and now that's not going anywhere. Same thing on this side. See how much I have left. I want to try to match it up here so that it lays properly. But again, it's really not that big of a deal on a necklace like this because the focal bead is not going to be centered anyway. So if it's not absolutely perfect, don't beat yourself up over it because when you, the clasp goes in the back anyway, no one's going to see it. Oh, you know what? It would help if I put the clasp on there before I tie the knot. So let me untie the knot. I think I didn't pull it super strong and I actually think I can get it on over that first one. So let me, there we go. Let me do the second knot. And then we'll pull it tight. Do the last finishing touches and you will see what this looks like. So we'll pull it tight. Make sure this can't slip over. It can't. I don't really have a lot to, to trim. You can trim it up if you want to. You would just use your scissors, um, trim it down, and then light it again to melt the edges. But don't trim it too close because that's going to weaken the integrity of the knot. So I'm actually gonna leave mine because I'm happy with how they are. And I know that I'm still gonna be able to clasp. So let me put these together here. Actually, that one might be, I do need to trim this one a little bit, I lied. It's just a little tiny bit in the way, but I don't wanna do too much because I'm getting close. And see how super, super frayed it is? My scissors are kind of dull, so I'm gonna use my lighter very carefully, singe it to melt the edges, let it cool, and there we go, much better. And that is how you make a really cute teething necklace using a focal bead instead of a large dangly pendant. You can see that it's a little bit to the side. It's very secure and it's adorable. If you love the beads that I used in today's tutorial, make sure that you head to our website, myprettyposhprincess.com. Search E as an echo, number nine. You can find this really great kit. It includes everything that you see here, minus the wood beads, and the cord is actually a different color. I chose to do white for this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. If you missed, this is the last video for this in particular series. This is video number five. Make sure you head to our channel, like and subscribe. We did, I also did another video that shows the a minimal, very basic how to make a very simple necklace. There's a rattle ring, making a necklace with a large focal teether, and then how to make a large passy clip that is that will connect a toy to a stroller or a high chair. You can hear my baby. She's always helping me in the office so that baby can't throw them over and get them dirty. So thank you so much for watching. Head to myprettyposhprincess.com. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.